up? I'm Miss St. Louis, and I am here with one of the innovators, uh, group out of St. Louis, who puts together dope events, and tonight we got to hang out with the baby a little bit, you know, got to see him in the element at Mystic Lounge. Nice to meet you, Chuck. Thanks for having me. What's going on, y'all? Chuck at from 79 FRM 79 TH on Instagram. Period, because who's not from 79th Street? Chuck's from Chicago. From 79 Crazy, Michigan, in town, to the world blow. Period. So, why are you here? Um, it's an interesting story, a long story of how I got here, but um, I am one seventh of the innovators, and uh, our goal is to bring a new wave to St. Louis. We brought like Kodak Black, Gunna, um, the Shanti. baby, the baby Ashanti. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? We, we're doing it big out here. We brought the baby this weekend, it was lit. Y'all seen it firsthand, so it was mad. Joint. But overall, it was a very good experience. What got you all into promotion? Um, really, it started in college. We started like hosting parties and stuff in college, and uh, it's really like we all went to we all went to school like 30 minutes away from here. Which one? SIU. So shout out to the Cougars. <laughs> so um, yeah, we started throwing parties in college, and we just kind of like kept it going from there. And then it kind of grew into like bigger events, networking, mixers, and, and eventually in the process. So that's kind of how we got started. So that's what made you kind of want to stay here? That's part of it. That's What's the other it. part? Because, you know, St. Louis, I love St. Louis, don't get me wrong. But there are, you know, there are connotations that come with St. Louis. Like people think certain things about it. Is it safe? Yeah. Is it a place to raise families? You know, things like that. Yeah, certainly. Not. I mean, certainly all those things come with it. Play when you, you know decide where to live, but um, I would say definitely the innovators are a large part of the reason that I stayed in the area because um, it's kind of our baby, it's our own company, and we all put put our put our money together, put our heads together, and you know uh, we've been going at it for about three or four years now. So where do you expect it to go? Uh, I Let's think, say in the next season. Let's say in the next three years. You three say years. you've done it for about four. So about three years, three to five years, where do you see the innovators? I think the long-term goal, uh, one of my goals for the innovators, and I think that all of us sort of share this, is to ultimately host our own sort of like large music festival because all of us are like super into music, super into hip-hop, and um, some sort of like South by Southwest style event, like on that sort of level, but for the Midwest, something specifically for the Midwest. Will it be here? Will it be in Chicago? We're not sure yet, but I think that's ultimately like in three years where I see it. That's the direction I see it's going. What about you? This is Austin, guys. Hey, Austin. How y'all doing? Hey, Austin. FYI, yeah, this is my sexy voice. You know, I'm in between two beautiful men, so you know, I gotta put my little okay, sexy gotta, voice on. Gotta pan over. Seduce a little you gotta bit, see you know? what's going on. Gotta see the fine. All right. Period. Period. This is Austin. He is another part of the innovator. How does it feel to you? What is the innovators to you? Um, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's a lot of things. You know, we have events and stuff like that, but. A lot of the offerings are a lot of the things that we're looking to do um, as far as the direction we're going is a lot bigger than just you know one event or a party or something like that. Um, we're starting a brunch series pretty soon. Like he said, um, we've already did you know concerts, so a lot of promotion groups really just do club events and stuff like that. But I mean, we always did that sprinkling in with you know concerts on you know, medium and also large scale. So. But I think we really, you know, really are heading towards the, the festival type of, um, you know, event. Something, something that St. Louis doesn't really have. I mean, they have it. Um, I think it's a new fest, but um, you know, outside of that, and they, they actually wouldn't even have it. What about three one four day? Three one four day is lit. I mean, so I mean, that's really a bunch of, you know, club nights or, or different clubs having you know, one or one artist, you know, something like that. But there's nothing where you know. It's just you know, people can buy wristbands and, and come for two days and come all day. And you want to do that for St. Louis? Yeah, okay. Some, some market for here for sure. Okay. 
So what would be the artist, like that artist, or what would be like your ideal lineup? Because you can't just say one artist, you make so many good ones. What would be like an ideal lineup of five people that you guys would want to see? I want to, I want to know both of you guys' perspectives. <laughs> You gotta put Nitty, you know. <laughs> Alright, so Nitty. Nitty, Nitty first and foremost. <laughs> um, because what's a festival without Nitty? And then, it's not a festival, it's not a festival, I can promise you that. Um, wow, just Nitty. That is yeah. the best festival ever. Just like a unicorn fest. Like, can you imagine just tons of unicorns running around? Put it like this, like, my taste in music is so diverse that, you know, it's very difficult to say what would be best for the groups festival. But right guess now. what, though? That's kind of how Lollapalooza is. When you look at Lollapalooza, you have literally, like, each stage kind of has an identity. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can do the same thing, but, like, with different types of hip-hop or house music. And, okay. Or it doesn't even have to be all black because I listen okay. to, I love electronic music. Okay. I'm a rave girl, I'm a festival girl. Okay. Probably why I wear a horn everywhere I go. But you know, um, it could be a really cool thing where you incorporate everything you like into one festival. So I'll probably have I'll probably have Wayne in there, honestly, for for historical purposes. You know what I'm saying? Not yep. necessarily new Wayne. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about Drought Three Wayne. Uh, I'll probably have like. Then you don't like New Wayne? That's another topic. Go ahead. I was gonna say that's. It. I was say I don't know if we got time for. All yeah, that's another. That's <laughs> but, another topic for that. Day. See, I have Wayne on one stage. If we talking about like, I have Lauren here on the stage. I Even though she don't pay her taxes, then she come late. Listen, who the kids gonna listen to? You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, Obviously not Lauren, cause she don't make it to her set. You gotta put somebody who's gonna come. Yes. I'm talking. Enough. I love you, Lauren. You my girl, for real. But you know, I just throw the shot. I'm sorry. I probably have like somebody real, like super big, popular, like Drake. I'm a Drake fan. I can't Drake, lie. I can't Drake lie. is gold. Not gonna I'm lie. He fan. takes everything um, and makes it better. Like he's really the king of taking something and making it better. So yes, please have Drake on the lineup. Personal favorite of mine is always been Currency. I'm a Currency. Okay, fan. okay. Like, My best saying? friend smoked some Currency have... one day. Wow. Yeah. What an honor. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm kind of like an underground. I like underground. Like, Uh, that's four. Okay. Well, it's five because I was the fifth one. There you have it. Okay. What about you? Man, he, he, he already named some of the top people. Uh, but that's good, though. If you yeah, guys yeah. can connect. A lot of the same. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, we got to put Gunna in there. Damn, so, uh, Gunna. You okay with Nitty too? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, period. Yeah. I have to make sure, you know. Sure, sure, sure. It's not a unicorn sure. party. It's not a party at all. So. Yeah. Gosh, I'm really, really trying to think. Pay Supreme. Uh, you know, oh wow, just, okay, yes. Yeah, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Just something like that. Filet. Um, Filet from Chicago. Walk this yeah. shell. Flames up the hill. I like his song Skinny a lot. Skinny is instantly one of them songs that just make you feel like a boss. It's just like the way he says the B word is like bitch. And I'm just like, I'm gonna say it just like that. Got it. Got it. So that's a great person to have on the lineup. Yes. So many people, but I mean, also, I mean, it wouldn't even. It'd be bigger than just, you know, hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I put some RB in there, like, I like the vision. It's kind of part of what I put the vision Okay. I've never really heard a person name the vision as an artist that they rock with. All right. I want to bring the vision to St. Louis, like, on his own show type shit. But, and that's the thing, like, St. Louis isn't even really ready for it. For, you know, Maybe at the casino. 
at the Lumiere, you know. But I know a little bit about St. Louis history, but you know, that's probably something like that. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be crazy. Do you gamble? I do, every now and then. Or well, I go with people that gamble and I watch them. One more question. You gamble? I'm going. Okay, so we're we'll asking you guys one more question. Very important question. How you guys feel about unicorns? They're unique. They're one of the kind. I like that.